I am super excited to share with you this Instagram hack that you can create on Canva super easily. So basically it's a bunch of photos that are scrolling and it creates a carousel video type. So I like to use these, especially when I have too many photos and not enough video content, which usually that's what happens to most of us. So how do we actually create a video like this? First off, we need to create our posts. So you would just go to Canva, create a design, and then I prefer to use a custom size. Uh, it's usually at the very bottom, as you can see over here. Well, maybe you can't see, let me move myself here. So I click that, and then I create a new design. As you can see, it's 1080 to 1350 pixels. Now we want this design because it creates a nice portrait picture. That means that it's, basically just uses more space on your phone on Instagram. So as you can see, it's not a square, it's something like that. And you have to be aware of this area here and this area here because on the grid, it will be cut off. So you won't, don't put any text here and any text here. Then it's really easy, just as usual, you create your post. So let's say you can start from scratch or you can use some designs. So for example, you can, type in Instagram and then see some posts that you like and then just add and change the titles of it. I've already done this part, so let me show you how it looks. And basically these are all my posts that I have. If we click here, we will see the whole view. And over here you can see the posts that I've chosen. I prefer to create more posts immediately because that helps me create more videos faster so here I have 20 slides. You can only have 10 slides if you want to just test this effect, that's enough. So once you do that, you will click share and then you will click the button download and then uh, just save all the settings like this. You don't need a transparent background. You don't need to compress the file, just download it. Unless your pictures are really high, but high quality, I mean, but usually Canva doesn't allow to upload them. So either way, just download this or you can choose JPEG if you want, both are fine. So we download the file, then this is what we do. This is the important part. We create a new file, as you can see, it's called Video Carousel for me. And the way you do it is you just go to home, you will click create a new design, you will choose custom, and then your size this time is going to be 3020 and then 360. And that's it, you create a new design and you will get a similar view to what I have over here. Now, I do have a template for this, so if you don't want to create these steps, it's gonna be in the description below. However, if you want to know how to do this, let's do it. So, I need something to put the images in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Elements over here and then scroll and find this thing called grids. We will click see all, and now you may need to do some scrolling. So usually it's at the very bottom. So we have some five grids if you want, so you could just click them and then drag it like this, and then choose another one and drag it all the way. So that's one way. Uh, but as you can see, the spacing might get wrong and things like that. So I just need to select it again and drag it. Now it's perfect and it's perfectly fine and you can use it. And once you uh, chosen both of them, you won't be able to do anything. So that's a problem. But you, if you choose just one, you could choose spacing and change the grid spacing. But as you can see, it changes only that one. So I prefer to do some scrolling. So we're going to go here and as you can see, it becomes, um, you find more and more of these, but you need 10 of them. So that's why. So this is probably nine and then this one is 10. One, two, three, four, five, ten. 10. So we have our grid now. And then before we do anything else, we need to make sure that we like the spacing. So as you can see here, I have some spacing at the top and I have some spacing over here. I think it creates a nicer effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase our spacing to 20. You could do 30 or whatever you want. I just use numbers usually because I'm bad at the dragging thing. So then I can also, I'm holding option key and I'm just dragging it a little bit to create that space at the top as well. 
personal preference. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is click over here to duplicate the slide and that's it, you're done. This way we can create two um, slides immediately if you created 20 pictures or you can just create 10, that's fine, that's enough for this effect. So what you do then? Then you go to uploads and you will upload all your files that we have created here and downloaded. Uh, we're gonna upload them here. So you just upload the files and that's it. And then you just drag and drop and, and it also helps you to see what make, matches better. You can move things around. So that's why I like to create it there. If you're only using images, you could skip those steps and you could just upload your images here. Then after you're done, just do the same thing. We download these files as PNGs. So you click download and that's it. We move on to the next part and the most exciting part. So we're gonna go to this file and then this file we're gonna create as a post. So to create it as a post, you go to Canva again and you will choose 1080 to 1350 and you will create a design, again, portrait mode. So we have to be aware that the top of this is going to be cut off on the grid or you can just upload a picture on the grid that's a little different. So it's up to you. So basically what we do on the video is we have these files that we uploaded. So I uploaded the files, as you can see, these two. And I will use a new page so you can see. And I just put it over here. And that's it. And that's all I need to do. Now, because it's going to drag like this to that side, uh, I like to prefer to have two images uh, hidden. And that, that's it. Then I just click Option and drag the next next one over here. Usually I wait for this pink line so it shows that it's right in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it two more pictures down as well. Now I don't like to do it aligned completely. I like to have one a little bit crooked as you can see. And then the last one I'm going to do the same. As you can see now it shows that we're all aligned but the next thing i like to do is i select all of them i click position and then tidy up just to make sure well it's it's just horizontally but either way uh it's it's vertically it's fine so i don't need to do this okay so then i will drag it again two pictures down hold shift key it helps to drag it more nicely so this is it and then i select all of these files and then i will click animate then what i choose is pen or you could choose something else so for example you could choose vibe or whatever but for this effect we need um where is it it's neither of them it's drift okay because pan as you can see does this effect not really what we're looking for but you could play with this so we're choosing drift and what i need to choose here is actually the speed so i'm gonna slow it down and then uh i'm fine with this one going to the right but this one needs to go to the left so i select it and i'm gonna click drift again and then i'm gonna choose left voila so that's it what i also like to do is i like to add another image there so that the video isn't just one thing the drifting but also has some message behind it so for example um could be a new collection so that's it that's all you need to know but now i want to share with you something even cooler so as we know reels are really big on instagram and i want to show you how you can create a reel instead so what you would do is you would click file and then if you have canva pro then you will choose sorry you will click resize and magic switch and then you will choose the size 1080 by 1920 continue and copy and resize now if you don't have canva pro don't worry this is what you do so here we choose the 1920 you also could just skip this and you could go just create the reel instead but we have the 1080 by 1920 and what we do is I just copy the images from here. So I copy and then to copy you click command C and I paste as you can see and then I make them much bigger. So just dragging 
this is gonna take me a little bit but totally worth it so i just want to make sure that it's the same on the bottom and top and as you can see i can't really drag that much when it, uh, it so i move it to the side and then drag it as much as i need it as you can see now it's fine and then now i'm gonna move it to the place i want it to be um, we're gonna choose something in the middle and i like to move this even more for this effect as you can see so that's it and if i play your reel is ready so this could be just one element of the reel then you can add another page you can add some of the images you you had so over here i'm just gonna add a random image let's say this one and i can just show it like that and then on the top what i like to do is let's say we want to add text already i'm gonna click t that's for text and then i'm gonna type in new collection and then I'm going to select everything by clicking Command and A and the, or just double clicking the text. And then I'm going to click Effects. Inside the effects, we're going to choose Background. Really easy. And then I'm going to remove the roundness and I'm going to make this white. Now, for this part, you can also use Instagram just for it. Then we're going to click this and we're going to color pick some color from the design. So let's see this one. Uh, then I still mess with it a little bit and voila, you have the new collection. I also want to add a little bit of shadow. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to elements, type in shadow, and then we're going to add a shadow down here. So it creates a more interesting effect. And here it is. So now if you look at the video, it looks like this. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is how it looks like, new collection, and then we say coming soon as a more, if, if some, something more interesting. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn anything on Canva, just let me know in the comments. I'm going to be more than happy to create a video for you. Thank you. See you next time.